we've got a very world-class chef, the beautiful uh, Gianluca, who is going to be showing us a very much regional dish, but of course he's worked all over the world. Right guys, now that we arrive here at the Locanda del Bugiardo, let's go inside the kitchen and let's get this risotto done. Okay, Katrina? All right, I'm dying for it. Hello. Gianluca, tell me what are the ingredients to start off this risotto alla marone? Okay, then the most important thing is obviously the stock. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do, we're going to do a mixed chicken stock between chicken and beef. Mm -hmm. Obviously the veg that goes with the stock. Mm -hmm. And then we have the rice, which is a vialone nano rice, uh, typical from the region. You can't use anything else you told me, Absolutely you? not. That would... <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not in this region. Eh? Yeah. People normally use cannaroli or abario, but Vialone Nano is a great choice for, to make a risotto because it has a lot of starch in it. Mm -hmm. Then we have obviously Parmesan that mm -hmm. we are going to use just a little bit at the end. Mm -hmm. Salt and frozen butter that we're going to need at the end once we finish off the risotto so to cool the temperature down. And obviously our Amarone wine. Yeah, mm -hmm. For the special occasion we use the Reserva. Okay? Oh yeah, that's pretty special. Uh, okay. Gambra Rosso winner. Mm. Absolutely. So as you can see we have we don't have a lot of ingredients, but what's important is to use them properly. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, let's start. Gianluca, allora, the best impar most important part is a very flavorsome stock, yes? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. So how do we do a perfect stock? So we start with our onion, okay? We stick a few cloves in it. Uh, this actually helps to enrich the flavor of the stock. And also, it's very important to stick them inside the onion because once your broth, your stock is ready, you can just lift up the onions and the cloves gonna steal inside the onion. So you don't, you, you, you don't want to have the clove, you know, swimming around in your stock. Is this if an we're... Italian invention? Uh, it is actually, <laughs> uh, it comes, oh actually it's my invention, I'm joking. No. <laughs> uh, no, it is an Italian invention, yes. Yeah. That's how we used to do also the bechamel. All right. Okay. Ah, bravo. Okay, ah, so we start cold water, mm. onions in, carrots in, uh, make sure to keep the veg all that. Uh, you don't want to cut them into pieces for mm -hmm. the same reason. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, your celery in. Okay, then you have uh, your all hain, yeah? Beautiful. Inside. Beautiful. And then the beef bones, yeah? Because the flavor, it's all inside here. You've got bone marrow okay. in there, I can Absolutely. see, haven't you? Beautiful, uh, nice Absolutely. and rich. So we start from cold, eh? because Why is we that? want, well, because we want to Actually, we want the stock, the liquid to absorb all the flavors. Okay, so if you start with boiling water, then it's just gonna cook right away, mm. and just the flavor is just gonna stay inside the ham, uh -huh. or inside the chicken, or inside the marrow bones. And we actually don't want to do. We don't want that. No, no, okay? no, no. Beautiful. So, all the ingredients in cold water. Now we go on the stove. Let's start. We put our stock on. Okay. Once it's on the fire, we add just a touch of salt. Eh? We don't want to season it too much because obviously it's going to reduce so the uh, the salt's going to be con very concentrated at the end. So we leave the stock on and we need to cook it for about three to four hours. Make sure never boil the stock, yeah? Once you get to 80 degrees, you lower, your, you lower the heat and then you leave it to simmer for about three, four hours. And then we can start to do the rice. So obviously, if you need to make a result for a party, make sure to have your stock ready before. Uh, otherwise you're gonna make your clients wait for the least three to four hours and that's not nice. So let's start. Rice. We do not use any sort of fat at the beginning. No onions because we already put onions in the stock and there's no point to put onions even when you do the sofrito. Yeah? How unusual. That is unusual. All yeah. Right. Okay, so we put the rice in, fire on, and then we don't put any sort of fat of nothing. We just wanna Warm the grain of the rice, you see. All the Italian mothers out there are oh, going to start yeah. crying when they see oh, this. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh. Well, my mother still do it with onion first. Yeah, yeah. Chop onions, then add the rice, yeah. and then you know. And then sometimes it happens that once you hear the result, you got bits of onions in your teeth. So you see, you know, I prefer oh, not to do that. Oh, women probably don't have oh, any exactly, teeth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. that's, right. that's very important, huh? Okay, so now we have we have to just wait that it warms up, yeah? What did they call this? Tostatura? Tostatura. Okay, so you see our rice is beautifully warm. Okay, now just melt it, Katrina. 
Can you smell the rice? I can. Ah. I can you can't see? believe that. That's you see? That's the most important part, yeah? Oh. Now that you have your rice very hot, yep. you get your wine in. And look. Not too much. And make sure that the temperature is always very high. You see? That the wine disappears. Okay, so you pour the wine in three to four times. You see? You don't want the grain to absorb the alcohol, yeah? No. And you obviously want your risotto to taste like the one that you're using. No. Okay, so this is very important, huh? No. Okay, you see? Now the alcohol just disappear because the grain is still very hot. No. You see? Yeah. Two seconds, and then again. Okay. So is this for one portione? Uh, no, this is for four portions. Okay, now Katrina, as you can see, the rice has absorbed all the wine eh? and release the alcohol as you can see from the color of the rice that's you see it's just it's just beautiful yeah and that's what we want we keep stirring the rice yeah so the grains just stick to each other and release the starch right, yeah right. and that's very important which you can see on the base of the pan of course and I know that you uh, believe in only using the and nano because that is a plump grain that is actually got great absorption, yes? Exactly, exactly. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a magnificent kind of rice because of the amount of starch there is in it. Yeah. The, grain, the grain is small, yeah. okay? And even once it's cooked, the heart of the grain, of every single grain, still al dente, okay? And that's the secret behind the perfect <laughs> risotto, okay? So as you can see now, we are we are ready to start pouring our stock and continue the uh, cooking the process. cooking process. All right, now we have a crucial point. Yeah, mm. we start put we start putting our stock in it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The stock needs to be hot, obviously. It needs to be at boiling point. Right. So we start putting it just a bit, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we don't want to cover the rice for the same reason that we do not want to have a boiled rice at the end. Can I ask a question? When we start the addition of the stock, at what couture was the rice? Uh, let's say one. Let's say one third. It was one third cooked. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, we keep stirring the risotto, yeah, because we want the grain. Let's say to make love with each other. Right. Okay. Oh, you're so romantic. And at the moment, we've only just got wine and rice, nothing else. As you can see, the most important part of this risotto, because there's hardly any ingredients, it's all in the technique and the cooking process. Absolutely. Mm? Absolutely. So now, as we can see, we arrived at the end of cooking. Yeah? We want to keep it al dente. So let's say, we want to see if the risotto is ready. Yeah, you just press it. Okay, on your finger. Can you see his heart? The, the white, the white. Okay, that's the that's heart of the grain. That's the heart of the grain. Okay. Perfect. We want, we want to see it, yeah. Yeah. Once we, see, when we see that it's ready, we just add a touch of liquid, yeah, a touch of the stock. We turn off the heat. Okay. We take the rice off. We go onto a, a cold surface. Uh, marble should be a marble surface. Right. Should be the. Uh, the best one, yes. or otherwise a wet tablecloth is okay. Then oh. what we do, okay? We start adding our butter, our frozen butter. As you can see, I kept the butter inside the ice because we want to keep it nice and frozen, oh. okay? Once we put these cubes of butter inside the rice, it's gonna, provo it's gonna make a, a thermic shock, yeah. okay? And so it's gonna set the starch. Right. Okay. So as you can see, slowly, slowly, adding just a little touch of butter, little by little. Right. You see? Right. Beautiful. Look at that. You're getting. This is la mantecatura. Exacto. Mm. Questa è la mantecatura. Yeah. As so you can see. Which for our at home is creaming the dish. Because exactly. the risotto, if it's not creamed at the end, well, it's not risotto. Is exactly. It? Uh, Absolutely. Mm. Okay, then we continue gently, eh? and very important, we keep stirring the risotto, yeah? yeah. All right, Caterina, now then, the finishing touch. Mm. A touch, but just a touch of Parmesan cheese, uh, very finely grated, yes. uh, just to give it a little bit more, just to enrich the flavor, yep. you see? Yep. That's the, the amount that we need. Yeah, because you don't want to mask the flavor of the wine. Absolutely, that's, the point. that's absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now look at that. Mm. Our result is done. Look at that. Now we're gonna serve it, yeah? Mm. So hot plate, 
we're going to pull our risotto and we want our risotto to relax. Uh, as you can see the creaminess, every single grain, that's how we serve it, yeah? Look at that. You see? Now it, it just relaxes, it just lays gently. Hugging the plate, I can see oh, that. The look starch at that. is perfect, you creamy, see? and you've added no cream. I just find right. that just totally amazing. Now you tell me. May I? Okay. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to tell my mother because you've completely <laughs> destroyed my idea of making the perfect result. As you can see, look. Oh God, it's so good. Happy? That is so good. I've got to give you a kiss. I've got to oh, give you a kiss. So fantastic. It's okay. Really, absolutely stunning. And as you can see, the ingredients, there's rice, there's wine, there's stock, and a bit of butter. I mean... And that's it. And lots of love. And lots of love.